at the beginning hide okay you can see my screen now okay so the, the first thing i was i thought you had actually is just by uh, i mean when i thought you you were just using or you had a problem with millimeter or inches because in some in some uh, uh, Revit versions if you just start to use Revit so these numbers will be in, in, in inches in US system okay so to solve such such a problem okay if you if someone of uh, some of you um, face it you will go to file and then you will open your option from option you will go into something something called file location this is I don't know if 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 someone of some of you will will face this problem or no, but anyway I will explain it. This problem is because if if you had something here in inches or your units, even if you just start to use a window, and you found that these these numbers are in inches, so you will go to file, you will go to option, you will go to something called file location. From here. Revit is taking, let's say, or you are as a user of Revit telling Revit, please, for such a template, use this kind of 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 file. What I mean when we start to you, when we start a new file, okay, when we say new, and we choose metric architectural template, we are telling Revit, please now create a new file using this metric architectural one. We do have four, as you see. For us, for us, as architect, we use the architectural one. So, since I did use that one in here, so I will go again to option, file location, and find the metric architectural one. Right? Because this is the, the one I'm using. So, I will open in here, this is three small uh, points or dots. Open it. I can see something called de default metric. I will choose it. If it was in inches, it will be default imperial one. Something called imperial. Default imperial because you will find it here. Uh, imperial one, English imperial. You will, you will find it this one. The one you want is the English. The default metric. This is to make it as millimeter and to make it with with Middle East uh, working system, let's say. So this was the the first thing. If someone wa if someone faced this problem, now you know the solution of it. Something else. Our our friend was was uh, Abul Qasim was was facing a problem, which is he will put some some values in here. Okay. For example, he will go in order, of course, to to put some values to these new walls, okay, or even to to change the thicknesses of this wall. You will click on this on the wall itself. You will go to something called edit type, and then from the structure, the first one. If it was closed, something like this. It's simply just understand that you will just open it from this tree or the blue one if it was closed or hidden. So from structure. You will go to edit. Focus here, please, Abul Qasim. When you are just entering the number in here, and like for example, you are just saying I want it 25. You didn't see these numbers above it and under it. You didn't see that we do. So, so it means it means, yani we are adding some thicknesses to this wall. If you are clicking here and just writing 25, it means only you are working with this layer. But your wall, as you see in here in this little presentation on the left side, or or even even to make it more clear, you have something here called detail level. If you click it, and I don't know, please guys, just tell me if you if you can see the thing I'm explaining, especially the small things. So if you if you just click on fine, something will appear on the wall. This wall is these things appeared actually the layer of the wall itself because with Revit you are able to tell everything 
you are able even to add all the details to everything in your uh, architectural drawings 2d and 3d so now we did add or we we can see some layers even though to make it as more colored one i can go to something called shaded we talked about it right before i said sd is the shortcut of it sd for shaded to show some colors and hl to go back to white and black so i will click sd for you guys to see the colors the layer you were working on uh, abul qasim it was this one only this 25 even though to make it to, to to make it even more clear for you for this one i will make it 70 okay and say okay and say apply and say okay i can see this layer became 70 centimeter it's not right of course but i'm i'm just explaining i'm i'm just showing you so what i want you to do or what what you you were any I expected something something like this either to change some values in here or to choose another type another type which is the generic one normal one which has only one layer so in this case I do have only one layer so I will just change it from here the number you were seeing which is this one let me click on the wall and then edit type this one it was with and you can see you are not able to change in it why? because Revit is telling you the total the total width of the wall of your wall so in this case if I change this this wall and then I open it edit type I can see it's a 29 even if I entered some values for example this one became a 20 and say ok I can see it became 39 so in, in this number you cannot change it because you are or Revit is just telling you the total width of your wall if you want if you would like to change the thickness of it you will go here and change some values anyway let's say let's say you let let me let me let's say like you don't have you don't have a generic wall okay you don't have a generic wall what you're gonna do is just to click on this wall edit type duplicate it and call it with your name like call it Abul Qasim okay this is Abul Qasim wall so I will say okay go to structure since now we are not dealing with finishes or thermal or etc I will just delete all these layers and then go to this finish and delete it also the remaining is only the one structure only the one layer I will put 25 and say apply apply ok click on this wall now this wall is, this wall is Abul Qasim wall and it's basic wall and the thickness of it is 25 so let me now just open your homeworks guys only three guys did submit ok Please, the others, after I will open a new link, you have to submit it, guys, because uh, you're gonna get mark uh, on, on these uh, submissions. So, let me just uh, open your, your files. This was Ahmed Al Ahmed and this was Ula. Okay, let me see Ahmed Ahmed submission. Okay, uh, for for the newcomers, let me just explain something. Uh, 
You guys, the, the newcomers, do you know how to navigate in Revit? Hello? For the newcomers, do you know guys how to navigate in Revit? No, actually. No. Okay. Ahmed, Ahmed, you submitted this file? How you made it? If you don't know how to navigate. I don't even, I don't know what this means. What's navigating? It means how to move. How to play around with this? Like I'm zooming in, I'm zooming out, I'm just yes, orbiting. Yes, we know, of course. Okay, so again to repeat it. Um, simply. To zoom in and to zoom out to use the scroll wheel okay and it's like autocad if you just move your cursor on something you will just zoom in and zoom out into it you do have to click the shift and to click the scroll wheel and now to orbit which means that just to rotate let's say okay so uh, this is the thing something else if you want to orbit around something you have to click it for example, now I'm just orbiting around the, the whole model. What if, what if I do have a wall in here and I do have a wall, for example, something like this. Okay. If I want to orbit around this wall now, okay, I'm around only this wall. I'm now, I'm not able to orbit around it. It's just kind of crazy. Okay. In order to do it, I either can go by clicking on the object itself and now orbit. Now I'm orbiting around or you will just click something called shift w shift w if you click shift w this wheel will appear okay if you use 3d max before you are familiar with this wheel the it's similar to it so you will just click on this center okay and just move it like this move it and put it on something you will see that rivet adjust the view for you and now if you orbit, you will orbit around this point which you put. I will go again, shift W, center and put it on this wall. I can see Revit directly modify itself. So now I'm modifying around it. This wheel is, is really important for you because you will later on if we put some cameras and we put some views, you will be using it. You will zoom in and zoom out into something. You will orbit from here also. You will, you will walk if you put some camera or if you were using something related to walk like this one, like walk through. Or you will ban, just ban like using a hand. In order to ban, you will just click the scroll wheel, close this one, scroll wheel and move right to and left. Simply. So. Uh, let me show you something else like how to, to zoom in and zoom out. Let me just put a camera. We will talk about camera later. But simply, if, if that's a camera, you will just go up or down from it. Or you will look left or right. Okay. Anyway, this is uh, assembly the navigation, which is movement, I mean, uh, something else. Let me see the walls you did use. Okay, let me see the north. One zero three. Okay. Okay. For the newcomers also. Also. Um. Please watch the the video, the recording, because we talked about elevations and we talked about levels and how to put a new level. Uh. We talked about the creating a new walls. Did I? I I did talk about making a duplicate of the walls, right? Making a duplicate and adjusting it and uh, 
playing around i i didn't mention how to in, add new layers because i don't want you to 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 bother yourself with this thing now what i want you to do is just to explain the idea of the wall or to understand it we we talked about windows and how to change the width of it right width and height of it we mentioned that right Okay, uh, did I talk how to insert a new thing? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, what else? Doors and the same. The same idea of the doors. Okay. Let me see the second submission. Okay, let me just close it. Close this one. Nope. Uh, this was uh, empty hall submission. Guys, please, if you do have any question from the previous lecture. Okay, let me, let me, let me today talk a bit about curtain walls first. Okay. Good. Right. This is early submission. This level 0, 1, 6, 0, 0. Okay, be careful with the names. There's no other way there. Okay. So. Um, Doctor, my only problem was the flooring. Last thing we talked about is flooring. And each time I do a flooring for one floor, the other one in double spaces, it's because I think of the original plan. So I try to close as much uh, spaces as possible to make it look decent at least. Okay, so uh, let me just mention, talk about flooring at the beginning. Okay. This is our, uh, I will open a new file. No. Architectural template. How we, this is how we start for the newcomers. Just by clicking new and choosing the architectural, architectural template and saying yes. The first step as usual, we mentioned that you will just click UN. UN is the shortcut of, of uh, units. You will go to the length. You will choose your centimeters and say okay and say okay. You will just, uh, in order, you, as you see it was, it was a bit inside. So I just drag it from here and then drag it back in order to put it um, on, the, on the right side. You will go to one of the of your elevation. You will click LL for for levels or copy or uh, or to copy it by clicking CC or CO. CC or CO is the shortcut. Anyway, uh, now I will just create some walls. WA WA is the shortcut again. I will repeat it. Um, in order or the important things in the walls, you have to sure or make sure that. This wall is a height, of course, and from which level into which one. So I want it to be from base level one into level, let's say, uh, two now. And uh, I mentioned before the wall center line and chain. I will just create some uh, normal walls like this and create another two walls. Something like this. Trim for this one and that one. TR again for this one and this one. So, uh, now I will just look at this, the thing I, I will be doing. For me now, guys, I did make a new shortcut for my, for my 3D. So, in order to open my 3D, I, I directly click double tree. So, I directly open uh, my, my 3D. So, uh, let me talk how, or let me just mention how we can create a new shortcut. A new shortcut is by clicking KS. KS is the new shortcut. So for me now, I will just write 3D and I actually advise you guys to make the same. From the first one, default 3D, you will click here 3, 3 and then you will say assign and say OK. So now whenever you click double 3, you will directly open your 3D. 3D. So now something else to mention. If I'm now selecting one, one of the walls and click tab, and now click, now I'm, I'm selecting all of them. 
so it's the same of just selecting all of it but later on you will um, understand the, the meaning of or just the value of clicking tab uh, something just I want you to, to remember is just by highlighting one of them I'm just I'm not clicking just highlighting tab and then click once and now you will be able to move so uh, this is it I will go to my uh, 3d to show you what I will be doing now again the same guys look I want again to select all of them I just highlight one of them and then tab and then click now I did select all of them I will move it something like this I will use the copy again tab select I will use this copy in order to copy to clipboard copy to clipboard and then go to best aligned to selected levels we talked about this command even before I want it to be in level 2 and say ok I will go to level 2 now in order just to change a bit with the dimension I will make it something like this I will say delete element it's okay I will create a new wall or now I can create a new wall it will have or it will have some some um, properties in order to create something exactly like this one I will just select one of them on and then click CS CS for create similar CS for create similar just attach them together go to your 3d now what I will be doing is just creating a floor okay so I will go to level 2 go to FL again FL I think I put it or it's existed let me just make sure it was in here no it's existing one okay good FL is the shortcut so now look guys again we, I will be using the tab this is the like uh, you will really benefit from it just highlight one of it say, uh, click the tab and then click once now you will see the borders of your floors from this arrow you will flip it and make it into uh, the interior side of, of your wall I want it to be in the exterior one I will click once and go back I will click SD for you to see it okay and even though we will we will do something even to make it more clear I will go to one of these walls go to edit type go to my structure open your material I will just click the the word white I will type it I will just find for example this one a brick sand lime I will just click on it from this arrow I will click it once and then from this graphic you can see this graphic panel you will choose this color and just make it a bit whitish one say ok say apply ok ok apply ok now we do have a little difference between the, the walls even though if you want to make it a bit whiter you could the thing is you can see these walls from the ground floor what I will be doing is just highlighting one of the of one of the walls in my ground floor click the tab and click once now I did select all of them you will click now attach top base this is the issue uh, Ula, this is your issue you will just click attach top base and then click your floor you will see that now if I just go and open a new section in here and click double click on it to open it SD for shaded you can see that your walls now are attached to it if I go back select all of them select once I will say the attach this is attach this is the attach click on my floor I can see it they all moved up I will open my section now I can see there is an intersection between them so for that I will just highlight one of the wall click tab select them 
zoom in a bit in order for you to see it you can see this intersection attached to base click our floor we can see all the walls move down so this is one this is the thing you 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 should do if you are working with with walls um since i did talk about about uh, attached to base uh, if you if you click this command attach to base if you click for example i will just uh, copy this one and then go at, um, align align to selected level put it in level 3 okay and now um, for example i want what i want is just even to rise it up a bit for example this is in level 3 this is a floor i'm able even from this height i'm able from this height offset from level i could maybe add 200 so even my floor will go up even a bit i will just for example select it or select these walls again attach and say okay let me see these walls for example if i say it these walls is the base offset of them which is this the bottom one is 200 like this and i want them even to 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 be attached even there i will again select all of them tab attach top base and instead of top i will just choose base and now select it they will go down so the idea is since if you want your walls or your um most probably will you will use it for walls your walls to be attached into a top floor or a top things because it will work with the floor and with the roofs so i will even now do it with roofs so if you want it with as a top one you will choose the top base one you will use uh, a base uh, this is simply it uh, sections and elevations again what i did with with ks which is keyboard shortcut I went to sections, this sections, and I put a shortcut of SE. So now whenever I'm here and I click SE, I'm able directly to put a section. Section is just simply by clicking one point, move it without clicking anything, and then click the second point. Something appeared with our sections. This border appeared. Now, if I just move it back, only the things inside our rectangle, our dashed rectangle, will appear in our section. For example, now if I open it, I will not be able to see these walls. Why? Because they are out of my section. How to open it? I either can right click on it and go to view, right click and go to view of, of a section. As you see, I'm, I'm not able to see any wall in here. Why? Because my section is not crossing it. So, if I just drag it back, open my section again, now I can see them. Go back to my section. Go, go back to the section. The same way in here. If I move it right or left. This arrow we know it now. This arrow you are able to flip your section. We do have something here. Left and right. I don't know why we use it. What if I click it? If I click it again. I can see a new symbol appeared. So it means I'm able to put a symbol on the left side. On the right side or not put anything like a normal or put it back as this symbol we do have something in here we will you will later know why why we use it but simply because we do have something in revit called sheets and this is um let's say at the end of your project if you have finished your project and you want to create a new sheets to submit it for your client and you can see them in here you actually with with the word sheets by right clicking on it and then creating a new sheet 
click on it for example a1 metric for example you will find a sheet you will put some information in it uh, and then uh, for example you we do have a section you if i open my my sections and i drag my section into here and put it so i will be able to see my section for example with my uh, ground floor for example so if i now if i now went back to my uh, section i can see some information appeared why because he will tell me that this section in my sheet a101 which is a101 as you see it in here and it's section one so uh, this is assembly what the important for me now is to know how to flip it actually and how to move it back and in we will let me just even mention it we do have something say gaps in segment if i click it I can see that rivet divided into two parts. It's just for a presentation, actually. If you like to see a full line, you are able to. If you don't like, for example, you like just to keep it like like this, in order not to, um, like let's say, put, to put extra lines in your drawing, you are able to. Or let me even mention something a bit advanced one, which is a split segment. Split segment, to be honest, I didn't see it before in, in a shop drawing, okay? But in case you would like to use it for your architectural uh, project, you are able to. By clicking split segment, and then clicking just one in any one, you can see I'm just kind of holding a knife in my, in my cursor. By clicking once, I'm able to move up or down. I didn't click anything to move up or down. Why? If I click it again, now my section is not going only horizontally. He is cutting horizontal and then he is going up and then cutting from these uh, walls. Anyway, uh, this is uh, all actually about sections. Our elevations, as you see, if you even start a new project, the first thing you will see is four things, four, four things in here, four icons or four symbols. These are actually the elevation icon. By right click on it again, go to view, go to elevation view, you are able to. And again the same thing, by double clicking on it, you are able to open it. Or again by just clicking from the project browser. I will mention again how to, to show and hide the project browser. Browser, right click, browsers, project browser. Or for the properties panel, double P, shortcut, double P, double P again to show it. So, going back to our project, I will again go to my levels, select this CO for copy, just make a copy in here. Now I will talk about roofs. If I went to level 2, since I will be putting a roof on level 2, so I have to open it. It won't work. Actually, it will work if you, if you click on level 1 and create a roof on level 2, it will work. But you will not exactly in somehow understand the thing you are doing. So, of course, you should be in level 2 and create it in here. Now, I can see my... My level one in dashed line, I'm, of course, I'm not able to select it. I'm not able to work uh, or to select it or to modify it. Why? Because it's just under underlay. It's just something called underlay. You can see it in your properties panel. In your underlay, you are just specifying or telling Revit, if I am in level two, for example, and now I will put level one in this underlay, I will be able to see it. If you put none, you will not be able to see anything. Since we want to create a roof, so of course I want to see level one. I will go to roof. I do have some types of roof. The one I want you now to, um, or I will be explaining two types actually. Uh, which is important for you now. 
for example, I will go roof by footprint. Simply, it's just creating a roof, like like exactly if I'm drawing a, a floor. Okay. The first thing you will you will um, let's say consider while you are drawing is roof roof type. What which which type you want? Which thickness you want? So you are able to edit type. You are able, of course, to duplicate it. Duplicate means just to make a copy in order not to uh, play around with the original one. Duplicate it. I will call it my roof, for example, and say OK. Again, go to structure. As you see, guys, it's when we are working with the system, this roof, floor, walls, when we are working with system families, because roof we call it as a family, floor we call it family, uh, door uh, door actually it's it's uh, it could be a system family, and it could be a loadable family. Why? What 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 loadable means? It means I'm able to to download uh, a window from outside, where in 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 the case of roof you are not able to download a, a roof from outside. So this system family, which means it's only existing in your system. In Revit system, so with the, with this Revit system, we can see the same things, the same steps. Edit type, go to structure, go to edit, and put some layers or change the thickness. The thickness. For example, I will change the thickness into, for example, fifteen, and then go enter to my material because I want to assign a new material. I will click on material. I can I can choose one existed material, but what what if I want to create a new material? I want to create my material. I will click create a new material, right click on it, rename it. I will call it mine. For example, mine zero one. And then since we are not actually going in deep into material, so we will just mention how to color it. Now I want you just to focus on two things, graphic and appearance. Graphic, when you are working with, with a view called shaded, we, I mentioned it before a while, with a view called shaded, so you will be able to see the color which you will assign it in here. So if I put, for example, this one as this color and say OK. And in appearance, if you are working with something called realistic, in realistic, you will see your material in real mode. In here and you will for example choose um, a, a color for example we choose this color and say apply okay okay apply okay now you can see the presentation of your material in here on your roof of course the same thing you will consider or you will focus on this base level top level base offset we we, I, we saw it what base offset means and now I will um, just talk a bit about it. this this roof will be on level 2 I'm able of course to change it put it on level 3 put it on level 2 as I want I want it to be in level 2 with roofs we do have additional settings which is define slope now I will create one with define slope and one without it and I will uh, mention the overhang the first one is zero and is defined. Click on this one, big wall, highlight one of the walls, tab, click. We can see many lines appeared. The same thing, I'm able to flip it. Or you can see a number with a little rectangle. This little rectangle means it's with the slope. What do I mean with the slope? If I click OK and I go to my 3D, I can see my my roof. It's too bad color. Let me just change it, please. Let me put it as uh, in the graphic. Let me put it as uh, another one. Just this one. OK. So now, this is, if I even edit photoprint from here, you can see these little rectangles 
which means it's slope and there is a number there is a number beside it you can ch change it from here or from there the slope for example this is all of them are 30 the slope of them is 30 i will just co copy copy it into here double click on it select all of them and now change it into 10 for example and say okay you can see now the difference between them you can see the slope is 10 this is 30 so uh, this was about the slope am i able to put some slopes in some uh, segments and some and and some segment i mean with the slope and some without yes i am i will just select it with this define slope i will uncheck it and say okay you will see some weird shapes but it's okay you may like it let me even undefine it from here and say okay when we undefine it look guys from this segment rivet was unable to connect them as you see if i put it back and then put it back for this one say okay we can see now there is no slope only on this segment Am I able to put a different slope in here? Yes, I am. Or 50. As you see, it's a 50 slope. Going back to my uh, roof. CS for create similar. I am able, of course, to create a rectangular one as you see I am able also to to create some different shapes for example I draw a line in here and then I draw CO for example 100 or 200 150 outside and then click on this one double M for mirror click on it now you do have some different shape now tr or before tr we have to split it what do we mean what do we mean we have to cut it sl for split click on this line tr in here and then connect it i will create a line put it just move it into into this point I will for example let me see how how my shape will be if i click it like this we do have the, this kind of shapes you may not like this one you will undefine it yes you are able to you want maybe to to put it like this and like that you are able Anyway, again roof, if I click something like this or before that, let me just talk about, uh, about the overhang. As you see here now, I will just select them, CO, go back to my level 2, read this one, C s for this one and now i will just put an overhang i will put it as 100 we usually actually put it for 50 centimeter as you see now when i'm just clicking revit is taking a dash line far away 50 centimeter from my line like this and say okay i will cut a section through both of them to show you the difference this is without this is without overhang and this is with overhang let 
So, this was for the room. We do have something called roof by extrusion. What do we mean? We means if you do have a profile, in you could make it a curvy shape. You could make it normal shape. It's up to you. But to be able to to use this kind of of roof by extrusion, you have to say or to to set a plane. You can understand the plane as um, a layer of paper or just a paper, okay? Any face, any face in, in, in Revit, we can consider it as a plane. What do I mean by a plane? If I click on this wall and consider it as my plane, so he will draw, Revit will draw on this face. If I put my plane in here, Revit will draw on this face, normally. So, I will go to roof by extrusion. This panel will appear, Revit will tell me like which plane you want, where is your plane, and this will be, you will see this panel in some comments, but I want you to understand, this is the work plane, so you will be able to click a name, if you do have a reference plane, we will talk about it later, reference planes, or if you do have something called pick a plane, pick it means just to click it, so I will say okay, and I will say I want to draw on this wall. Since we are working with roof, of course this message will appear. And it will ask me which floor you want your, your roof to be. I will say like I want it to be in level 2. And say or level 3, keep it, it's fine. He will ask me do you want any offset, up or down? I will say no. I will go back. So since I'm working on this elevation, now I'm working on this face. So logically, we have to go to this wheel and just go to front. Now our plane is in front of us. So we will be able to draw some weird shapes. As you see this draw panel, I'm, I'm using it. No need to explain everything in it. We do have some subline, we do have some arc. We do have some lines, normal lines. We do have some rectangles, polygons circles it's just normally to, to understand it um, or ellipse so you should you should use some of this command we do have something called fillet okay this is something you should actually i will i i will uh, explain it now which is fillet which means for example in for example i do have a line something like this okay something like this like that in this way and I want this one to be as a curve I don't have to go to my arc and then to click a point and then to click a point and then to draw and then to go to trim to trim this part with this part I don't have to do to do this step we do have something called fillet arc this is the difference actually you will click it you will click the first line click the second line and go up or down Again, click this one with that one and then just move it down. We do have some weird shape in here. We have to be careful when we are using it. For example, like this. Delete this part and say OK. And say OK for this roof. Go back to your 3D. We do have this now, this shape of roof. I will. As you see, when we when we click on this roof, normal roof, we do have some something called ed edit footprint as normal one. But when we click this one as as a roof by extrusion, we do have something called edit profile. So we have to edit our profile. I will extend it and extend it back. So now I will delete this this floor. And for this roof, I will just drag it back, drag it a bit inside. And now we will use tab, click on it, and we will use attach top base. Let's see what will happen. If I click, Revit will understand directly the shape of roof. As you see. Now if I just click on this on this uh, roof and right click on it 
and say hide in a view and hide element right click hide in a view hide element which is the shortcut of it h i or sorry e h e h we can see the shape of of our uh, walls what i want you guys to to understand is with Revit, we are able to be like really creative, but we have to think, we have to understand how Revit uh, understand the things. Okay. Let me go to modify. To modify. Please tell me, guys, did we talk about a line? Did I talk about a line before? Okay, nice. Nobody here. Guys, did I talk about a line before? Okay. What about the others? Anyway, uh, a line comment. A line comment. Let me just bring a family or open assemble. So, with, with our uh, sample, I will use the align command. For example, I do have this chair, and I want to align it with, this, with the line of this one. Okay? I will simply click on AL for align, and click the first source. I want to align this chair with this one so it means this one the original one so I will be clicking this one clicking click the second line this chair will move or I want to align for example this chair with this one I will click on it and then click on this chair we do have multiple something called multiple Now, if I want to align all these four chairs with this line, I have to click back and then to click, to click back and then to click on this chair. What if I want only to click on this, my source, my original one, the one will remain in, in, in its place. What if I want only to click once? So I will click multiple alignment, and then click, click on this one, click once, two, three, four, four times. This is as a multiple. In order to lock, it means which you will just lock, lock the family directly. If I just click lock, click once, and then click on this one, you will see that directly Revit lock it, but you don't need to understand or just to, to deal with locking now. So, this is about a line. The second one is offset. Offset normally, if we do have, for example, a, a chair. And I want to offset. Offset means copy. I want to copy it. I will click on it. O, F for offset. And then we do have numerical and graphical. If I put 
numerical I will be able to to make a copy and just to put it far away from it or if I use it as a graphic I will use it on a wall actually let me just use it on on this one for example this is a wall or here I will just draw a wall in here and I click OF for offset I do have graphical which means I will click on it click once again move it click 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 again move click which means copy or just by clicking on a numerical one I will put 500 for example and then click on this wall click on this wall I will I should make it on this side oh F click on this wall into this side there is something wrong up here let me just see what is it I think it's because of the view yes it is yeah this is my wall let me delete it oh F 1000 and then click 1000 and then click this is for offset we do have mirrors which means for example I do have a, a wall and I do have a chair for example and I want exactly these chairs just to to be mirrored into this side if I click on them and I click MI or sorry MM for now MI with AutoCAD MM I will click this line and I will directly flip it what if I don't have I don't have a wall I will just select all of them and instead of MM which is the first one I will click DM DM and then click align draw it I can see he directly copy it with the mirror I mean we do have move simply click on it MV for move click anywhere one click I want to move it 50 or 1000 one say okay this is for move copy we talked about it before CO click on it CO click once move click click on it CO any point click doesn't matter to be uh, it's not a must I mean to be on, on, on the on the element or the object you are moving click once move click rotate RO RO is rotate you can see this point we call it the place or the center of rotation if I rotate it 15 it will rotate again RO I will just this point I could directly just drag it drag it for example here I will just move you are you can see now I'm moving it from the center this is my this is my center okay RO trim we know it now TR in order to trim which means it's like a fillet in uh, in, in, in AutoCAD something else important I think is just to click WA for example I want all these walls to be connected into this one and instead of using this trim we will use this one multiple one click on it click your source and then click once two three four this is for multiple trim. we do have something called bin we talked about it when we bin our picture and which means lock it and you have to be careful if you bin something for example this this chair I will bin it now I am able to select it actually but I'm not able to move it because why MV I'm not able to move it why because it's bent 
you have to be careful if you click this icon small icon called select bend element if i deselect it i'm not able even now to select it so this is with bend uh okay this is modify this is the most important panel for you guys uh architecture we talked about walls doors windows we talked about roof and no i don't i will not explain about ceiling because you will be, will you will not use it now you will use the floors uh curtain system okay let me just mention curtain system now curtain system or curtain walls are these walls now if i open a new curtain system let me just open a new a new file And I change the unit. Open a new system. We do have three things. The first one. The second one. And the third type. If you open this elevation. And you click SD. You will see. A panel of glass without any division. The second type which is the curtain system, curtain wall, normal. The second one was curtain wall which is exterior glazing, which means only divided. The third one is storefront, which is divided and there is mullions. Mullions is the aluminium panels actually, normal aluminium panels on the uh, curtain uh, system. These grids, we call it, we call it grids these divisions and you can see him you can see it in here in your architectural tab curtain grid you do have a curtain grid in here and mullion on 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 beside it directly which 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 are these now i want you just to understand that a glass in curtain system called panels and these divisions called grids and these white things called mullions so what if for example i do have this wall okay and i want to divide it like as l shape i don't want to have all like 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 that one i want to put my my grids i will be able to click on curtain a grid and then divide it I can see that there is three options in here all segment and one segment I want you just to focus now on these two all segments it means if you just as you see now I'm able to draw uh, horizontal if I just click something like this I'm able to draw vertical I will click the first one in here the second one like this as L shape now I will go to my architecture to my mullion Choose all the grid mullions and click once. Now I created some custom shapes. What if I want to have all these panels as one? I want to delete this grid. Simply, you will click on it, add, remove, click once again, click outside. Again, click, click add, remove. Click once again, click outside. I want to delete this one. Click, add, remove, click, click outside. What about if I want to add a new little grid in here between these two? Click, add, remove. I have to go to grid actually, not, not from here. For this one, I have to go to add a grid. And instead of add all segment, I have to choose one segment. Go like this and, and choose it. What if I want to draw a panel, whole panel like that, and, and, and accept this part? 
do I have to make it like once one 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 it's not it's not the, the proper way you have to go to all except picked so you have to go like this click once and then click once again on this part click outside click like this say okay and now you go to mullion all the grids say okay If you enter this curtain wall at the type, you will see something different, a bit different. Simply, it's these divisions. We, we do have grids, as we say. We do have vertical and horizontal, and now we know what is a grid. And we do have vertical and horizontal mullions. Next lecture, I will explain again about curtain walls. You will be able to see, to, to, to do it. I will just uh, now just open something for you. Uh, for example, now, what about if I want to create something like this, guys? Anyone, any volunteer to tell me how? How to make something like this? I will cast them how we can create this part, this gray part. No, no, I'm talking, I'm talking about this gray part, how you could create. What do what do, what, what do you know about floors? Yes, we can we can like make a certain thickness on the floor. We can change the color. Density or the shading. Yes. And create a rectangle floor. Okay, what about this one? Is it going, is it okay to make it as a wall? I'm not sure, maybe. Uh, I think it could be made as a vanity. As what? Uh, as a vanity, you know, as uh, as a hollow tunnel, like you know, it could be uh, good. You you mentioned something. You yeah. mentioned something. We will mention it le next lecture, which is a whole rectangle. Uh, Ahmed, Ahmed, what do you think about about this shape? Is it okay to make it as a wall? Uh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, Ibtihal. Okay. What if? What if? I create a new wall like this. Okay. And I click on it. And I rise it up a bit. We do have something called edit profile. If I click it, this wall will become something like this. If I went to front and I draw any shape inside of this shape, it will become a void. I will go back, edit profile, go back to, to this elevation, delete it, and create for example, 350. Create maybe 400 or 500. 
click on this line co from here to here and create an arc from this point into this point and go up select all of them move them down a bit something like this and say ok like this and now I will go to my for example level 2 I will try now I'm, I'm not able I'm not able to see where is this void the first option I will try to make is to make this one as wireframe something called wireframe if it didn't appear I will go to my site again activate wireframe now I can see two lines in here it means this is the border of my floor I will go to my floor architectural one choose normal rectangle one from here to here cancel at the beginning right click cancel bring this line put it like that bring that one put it outside say ok go to your 3d now it's down there I want to align it AL is the align AL is the shortcut of the align AL click on this face if you are not able to select it just click tab tab select go back to the bottom part of it click on it this is the second this is the second Uh, step now if I go back to HL I'm, I'm clicking SD HL SD HL now I know how to create a roof by extrusion right I will go to my roof by extrusion go back to this elevation go to roof by extrusion he will ask me which plane you want it to be I will say this one and then I want it to be on level 2 yes I will click big line and I click on this one but before that I have to specify it I want to be this one or edit type make it as 15 thickness of it say ok say apply ok and now if I click it like this, look guys, if I click it like that, it will go inside. Okay, it will go inside. This is not the thing I want. I will just edit profile, go back to my front. Delete this line. Click again on my back line. This offset from here. Click on this offset. The, the, uh, since my thickness is 15, I will use the same thickness click thickness 15 make make sure it's outside say yes go back make it inside and drag it just simply drag it like this you will be able to see that rivet is just snapping into it or you will just click align al this face with this face and now create normal normal walls CES for walls go back to your, to your level 2 or to your site plan it's fine WA for walls now we talked about before about wall center line I want to use now finish exterior click on this line like this make it and then like that click space space I'm clicking space and say yes now if I look at it it's okay now I want to just to drag them out to drag them down drag it down or align it you are able to align it AL this face with this one for coloring I will click on this line on this wall sorry Click on edit type, edit type, open my material, create a new material, right click on it, rename it, 101 I will call it, and then I will just make 
وايت وايت كلر اند سي اوكي ابلاي اوكي كوبي ذس ماتيريال اند سي اوكي ابلاي اوكي كليك اون اون يور روف انتر انتر تو ذس وان انستد اوف انترينج ماي ماتيريال جاست سيلكت ذس وان اند كنترول في اوكي ابلاي اوكي كليك اون ذس وان اتس اتس اوريدي جراي اوكي سو نو نيد تو تشينج ات You could just drag this one a bit inside in order not to to see it. Drag them again. Come on. I will drag them again. That's it. What I want you to do is again go to your insert. No family. Open something called. Entourage, where is it? This one. Bring a human. Say load. Go to your architecture. Go to your component. Something called component. Go to your site at the beginning. Open your component. Bring this lady. Put it here. Go back. It's okay now. What I will do is now. It's just to click something called GD. GD for graphic display option. You will use the same steps: smooth line, shadow, activate both, open lighting, increase sun, increase ambient light, decrease shadow. Say okay. Say okay. That's it. This is your exercise for next week. Next week, every one of you guys gonna sh sh uh, share his screen, and you will be applying all the things we talked about today. If you do have any question, please ask me. Send me email. You know my number. Send me on WhatsApp. For the newcomers, even though you could send me email, and this is my WhatsApp number. If you do have any question, please send me. This is my WhatsApp number, guys. Send me if you do have any question. If you would like to make a group, make a group for all of us and send your problems so your friends and I can share the knowledge we know. That's it for today. I know maybe we took a lot of information today, but please repeat it again. Repeat all these things we took and submit your work next week. I will just let me just take the attendance, please. Nineteen. Uh, please write your names and surnames on 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 the chat. Abu Qasim is here. Ola here. Abtihal here and Ahmed Ahmed here. Abu Qasim Ola. Let's submit. And okay, uh, 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 u